Ladies and gentlemen, this is Real Honesty with John Ritland. I am I, not I, John Ritland. I am the Durbinator. Yes, and this is an NXT takeover. What are you calling this? New Durblins. Of course. Because everything are. NXT is the Durbs. Yes. It's or something or rather. There was a movie <laughs> called a movie called Meet the Deedles. It was like ridiculous. Hmm. Anyway. Yes. Let's... Take over the preview. Mm, yes. And we're going to let you basically do this. I'll just say the matches and then whatever. But let's start off with what should be the train wreck of the night. Ember versus Shayna for oh the God. women's title. Who do you have? Ember Moon. Because she needs something. And Shayna needs to be put down the card. It's no offense to Shayna. You're just not ready to hold the championship. You she don't have the charisma... You don't have the skill. You could uh, you could kick my ass in real life, but in the ring you are not even equipped for that. Shane is winning. Ember is getting called up. That's all I have to say. But I don't want it to happen. I don't, I don't think the women's division is ready yet for that. Okay, I didn't say. I'd it. expect that maybe to happen. Who knows? Closer to backlash. Oh, that's a good point for the shakeup. Mm-hmm. Or for Sh- money in the bank. Shayna injures Ember Moon. Ember Moon, although she wins, she has to forfeit the title. Pull an Asuka, you know, come back later. Yeah, well, I mean, or if Ember just gets called up. I mean, that way they can put somebody else in the title scene. Somebody that's good? Yeah. yeah like Kyrie Sane, Nikki Ooh, Cross. Hey. Um, Nikki Cross. Yeah, I like Nikki Cross. But. Yeah, I, I don't want it to it's happen. It's not a good finish if it ain't Scottish. Nice. Um, it should be... It, it it can't be worse than the match that they had. Yeah. At, you know, TakeOver. At, what was it? Houston? No, not Houston. It's wherever, wherever the Rumble was. Anyway, the whole point is... Mm-hmm. you We have uh, different people, and we have Undisputed Era, which is Adam Cole... Blah, <laughs> Versions of it every time. I'm and, running out of ideas. Yeah, I was gonna Please say, hold. I am <laughs> Help pulls. <laughs> and Kyle O'Reilly because Bobby Fish unfortunately suffered an injury at an NXT live event. Mm-hmm. So the Undisputed Era versus AOP versus Pete Dunne and Roderick Strong for the Dusty Rhodes Classic Wait, is trophy. It, I thought AOP and Dunne and Strong were facing off this Wednesday, and then the winner goes to face them at TakeOver. I think they're going to do something fluky on this taping. I don't know. See, that's part of the reason yeah. why, like, it's kind of difficult to do these TakeOver predictions right before I think taping. it'll make it easier. That way they don't have to make Dunn and Strong look weak by having AOP pin the Undisputed Era. My guess also is the Undisputed Era will probably interfere and then it will be set up at the Triple Turn because Undisputed Era always interferes in everything. Undisputedly. Yes, I have done in strong winning. I have AOP. Okay. I don't think they're ready to move up. Um, they're going to need to continue their champion, their push that they've got. Um, once they have the championship, give them a little bit. If they develop a little bit more, bring them up during SummerSlam. Right after. Yeah. No, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. I have done in strong winning, mainly because they had Balor and Joe win the first ever Dusty Classic, and then it went nowhere, and then they were feuding for like seemingly like five years. Actually, it was like six months. But yeah. Still, I have that. So those are uh, th- those are that, and then we go on to the North American Heavyweight Championship ladder match for the inaugural champion. We got two in-ring debuts in here. Uh, we've got Adam Cole, blah blah. Uh, versus Killian Dane, it looks like. Lars Sullivan, EC3, Rick, uh, Ricochet, Velveteen Dream, and a partridge in a pear tree. It'd be kind of funny if they were Partridge like loses, sorry. Partridge uh, Lewis can't lose. You have. EC3. It's his debut. Um, it, I, honestly, I'm a little bit torn between EC3 and Ricochet. EC3, though, has already made his appearance. Ricochet barely made one in the last episode of NXT. So we'll see. I have Adam Cole because I think... Bye, Blue! I think the Undisputed Era is losing, mm-hmm. and they're going to find a way where, okay, we got the tag titles off the Undisputed Era, somehow Cole's going to be the inaugural champion. That doesn't mean he's going to hold a past TakeOver Brooklyn 4, but 
I think he's going to do that, and then you'll sprint off with, say, Lars and Killing and feuding still, and EC3 will be in the hunt, mm-hmm. and Ricochet and Velveteen Dream will feud into June to yeah. take over Chicago. That should be good. So now we go to Gargano versus Ciampa. Gargano. If, yep, Gargano's got to win because, of course, if he loses, he's still banned from NXT. This feud's just getting started. He's going to win. He's going to look down at Ciampa and go, Congratulations. I'm still not going to be in NXT. And he moves up to either Raw or SmackDown. He could. He could. I like that idea. Yes. This is what I got. I got that he wins. Ciampa gets his heat back by beating him down. Mm -hmm. They move on to take over Chicago, where is where it all began. And you have, say, a, a lights out match. Go old school. Or not Texas death match, but like last man standing. Say somebody, but a different type of last man standing. Somebody gets pinned for a three count and has 10 seconds to get up. Or Ty Dillinger guy. What happened guy, to him? That guy just disappeared despite being super over. Um, you're like, you're really over with the crap. Yeah, we're not going to push you here on the main roster. It's like, no way, Jose. He just got pinned by Corbin last year. So we got that. So we have Gargano and Almas versus Alistair Black. Alistair. Yeah, it's got to be Alistair. Almas has been a great champion. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a great match. Yes. Candice is going to distract Zelina or chase Zelina away. Mm-hmm. Because that feud's not over. Nope. So that's what we have. Yes. Uh, by the way, check out the Derbs uh, NXT review that he will do on Wednesday. This will go up sometime during Raw. So whenever you guys watch it, enjoy it. Enjoy the Raw review. The Mania predictions we'll be doing. Oh, dear God, that's going to be such a long prediction show. Oh. 14 matches. Christ. But anyway, TakeOver New Orleans should be really, really good. There's no way besides women's match that this can't be good. I mean, honestly. I mean, it could be. It could be terrible. It we could. We'd all leave very disappointed. We could. In everything. In everyone. <laughs> like my last few dates. So anyway, do you agree, do you disagree? What we His have? dating policy is nihilism. <laughs> this has been Real Honesty with John Ritland. I am not John Ritland. I am the Durbinator. And you have a good night. Yes, what did you say? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs>